The Stranger Things trailer for Season 4 sucks. And I understand that a lot of people love this show, and I totally get that. I love this show like a lot of people do too, but I personally think that this trailer or teaser for Season 4 is a horrible teaser for one major reason. It spoils too much. Now this isn't an isolated issue to just Stranger Things. Trailers have been spoiling things for a long time, but this trailer specifically annoys me more than most because it does something but spoil. And even if it's not the full trailer, it's a teaser which makes this worse. So let me explain. When making a trailer or teaser, you must give the audience something to be excited for without giving them too much information. This can be difficult for both, but it's easier for a teaser because a teaser can just give us a shot or something without spoiling too much. This is usually accepted because when a teaser is released, it's usually like a wake up call to get you excited about the show. Because usually your show has been away for a couple months and you're waiting and anticipating for the new one to come out. And teasers are also easier because they only last around 30 to 60 seconds, unlike a trailer which can last more around 2 to 3 minutes of footage. Without spoiling things can be a lot more difficult. So let me give you an example of a good teaser. Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7, the first teaser. Now this teaser is one of the best teasers I've seen in a long time. You want to know why? Because it shows us literally nothing. The only bit of information we get about the show is when Anakin sees Ahsoka at the end. And this is a good thing to reveal because we don't know why she's coming back. Now that's not to say that you can show whatever you want to the viewer as long as they don't know why, but you can use small bits of info to grab their attention. This trailer only does three things, but it does them perfectly. Number one, it shows us we're getting a final season. Number two, it shows us we're getting new artwork, which looks amazing. And number three, which it shows us that the storyline is going to revolve around Ahsoka more than the other characters, probably. These three things are fine to show. It gives us no info on the season's plot, except that Ahsoka is returning. And this is fine because of how the story left her character off. This is reasoning that does not apply to the Stranger Things trailer. When you look at the Stranger Things trailer, you're not only given a bunch of information, but you're given the wrong information. This trailer basically shows men working in Russia, and at the end it shows that Hopper is still alive. Now you may ask, isn't this the same strategy that Clone Wars use? And the answer is yes and no. It is yes to the point where you could say that both trailers don't give us a whole lot of information on the overall plot, and they both reveal two characters we thought were gone from the show. But it's how they're executed in which they depart. In the Stranger Things trailer, we're shown that Hobbs is alive and that he is in prison. But where this diverges from Clone Wars is that the plot doesn't support this reveal. Having Hopper come back is a huge reveal that should have been saved for the show, not in a single teaser trailer, especially where that's the only information we're given. Reason being is that this takes away from any sadness or mystery we had in the final season. Plus, it's also irritating because it's not the first time they pulled this trick. The Season 2 Stranger, a trailer of Stranger Things revealed that Eleven was still alive even though she supposedly died at the end of the last season. Now this reveal wasn't as bad as the Hopper one because the next season needed Eleven to be in it. We all knew that she was coming back from the Eggos foreshadowing. Now you could say that it was also foreshadowed with them saying the American, but that's a lot more vague than Hopper. So the problem is, is that also since this is the second time this has been happening, it's not as exciting. It's starting to feel repetitive. When characters in your show don't die, and then you just or they you th make the audience think they die, and then they turn out they didn't, it starts to feel a lot more lackluster in your shows. Hopper's reveal feels like a fan service plot choice. They only brought him back because he's one of the best characters in the show and the fans love him. This reveal feels forced and unnatural when compared to something like Clone Wars, where Ahsoka returning makes sense. It feels natural for her character arc to return to the story, while Hopper's feel like it could have ended and probably should have ended in Season 3. So this trailer does nothing but show that Netflix is desperate in trying to please fans and to keep them hooked on the show, but this review only disappoints me because now 
If they kill Hopper, I'm not gonna care as much. And if he lives throughout the show, well, I'm gonna think, wow, he was very lucky to live this long. It's almost like he can't die. And that's plot armor that isn't good. So those are the reasons why I don't like the Stranger Things trailer because it feels like something that was too forced and that it reveals too much information that shouldn't have been revealed in the first place until in the show. So there you go guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!